Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, I didn't expect to shoot this video, but just today uh, I had the fortune to get a new game uh, published by GMT and designed by the famous Ted S. Racer. I'm speaking of The Dark Sands, uh, apparently uh, by considering the title, uh, it's uh, a game about uh, the war in North Africa from 1940 to uh, 1942. Well, the picture on the, on the box uh, is, uh, or better, we can say that are typical pictures uh, uh, created by uh, the artist uh, Roger McGowan uh, it's a, a typical image that you can find also in uh, other previous war games. And uh, uh, in the bottom you find a wonderful uh, 88 gun. Let's uh, turn the, the box to check uh, uh, the description and to analyze the starting information. Well, Dark Sands, uh, obviously it's a grand operational or a, strateg a strategic war game uh, in North Africa. It was a chaotic war, it's true, and uh, Dark Sands, uh, what's Dark Sands? Actually, is a cheat-driven operational level. So, I suppose that uh, to activate uh, the units uh, you have to draw some cheats and uh, move uh, the uh, the connected uh, units. Uh, logistic is uh, abstracted into the cheat system. Well, so I think that uh, you are using some uh, assets coming from uh, the cheat. For example, I don't know, you probably you will be able to use the artillery by using some uh, initial uh, assets. And uh, well, guys, uh, uh, I have uh, never played uh, Dark Valley. Uh, I have only seen it playing, but uh, I suppose that uh, the uh, mechanics uh, are very similar to the previous Dark Valley. We find two paper maps, unfortunately they are not mounted, two counter sheets, uh, a rule book and a very useful playbook, uh, three player eight cards, these are welcome. Uh, complexity about the game, uh, medium, uh, I think that uh, uh, we'll find uh, um, a typical traditional zone of control and while well, the logistic is not so complex, uh, solitaire suitability very high, 8. Well, we'll check that. Uh, units about the gang scale, well, units uh, are battalions, uh, regiments or divisions if you are considering the Italian units. Game turn one or two months of real time. And by considering the playing time, we have a scenario could last from two up to four hours. The campaign is pretty long, 18 hours. Obviously, from one to two players and the recommended age is 14 years or more. Uh, each uh, hex uh, corresponds to about uh, 9 miles. As usual, I repeat, game designer Terrazer, art director Roger McGowan, uh, counter art uh, Charles Kibler and Mark Simonich. Uh, as usual, the production coordinator Tony Curtis. Please remember that uh, the, uh, we find uh, five executive, uh, uh, executive producers uh, uh, that uh, uh, concern the GMT. Well, let's open the box and let's uh, uh, discover what we can find inside. Well, at first, uh, typical uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, bags uh, uh, of the GMT. I always prefer a counter tray, but unfortunately, uh, that uh, remains a desire. Good. Uh, Good eyes, well, good uh, bond eyes, uh, well done. Then the uh, typical uh, flyer about uh, the, um, the guarantee, well, that this, uh, this product is, uh, has been a package in a successful way. And then finally, the rules of play. Uh, first page with uh, a typical, another typical image, 
by Roger McGowan. This time we find uh, Montgomery and uh, well also um, I don't remember the name Ochinclick or also Churchill but I'm not so sure. So and uh, let's uh, analyze how many pages, uh, 20 pages about the rules but uh, they are uh, colorized. Uh, we find uh, at the beginning uh, the description about the game components, uh, two pages dedicated to the analysis of the counters that are uh, quite big. Uh, you can read all the digits uh, well and well anyway nothing of uh, particular uh, NATO symbols and uh, silhouettes uh, as uh, regards uh, the uh, the tanks. Uh, let's uh, browse uh, uh, the other rules. Well, how to win? Immediately we have uh, well done a setup and the campaign victory condition. Obviously, uh, when you you can uh, uh, get points when you seize. Uh, uh, the main uh, the main cities uh, along the uh, North African coast so scores one VP the Axis player scores one VP each for control of Mersama True and Tobruk so uh, more you uh, the German player is able to uh, control Tobruk more points uh, he could get um, I have already said that uh, zones of control are traditional, are quite uh, rigid, and the rail line, obviously, please remember that the rail line has uh, a big importance uh, as regards uh, the, uh, the supply source and the line of supply, obviously. Anyway, the logistic is not so difficult and, uh, well, the, this is an advantage as regards the, uh, the mechanics. Headquarters, well, you have uh, the headquarters, I think that uh, to each uh, headquarter you have a corresponding sheet. Uh, another, the description about the combat units, please remember that you have uh, regiment, uh, brigades uh, and divisions. Assets, well, um, I think that this is uh, uh, mm, or better um, uh, a rule about uh, the assets uh, well removes uh, uh, other uh, complex problems that uh, can uh, uh, come from a rule about uh, from a rule about the use of the airplanes uh, or from the rules about the guns Artillery assets, please remember that you determine the several assets at the end of the turn. And finally, we can analyze the sequence of play, point 16. At the beginning, you have the so-called replacement phase, the action phase, actually where you can draw the, the cheat that is necessary to activate the units. And then you have the final phase where you check uh, the attrition, uh, victory check segment, uh, building segment, uh, and then the uh, important asset availabil availability segment. Uh, and obviously you, at the end of this phase, you can advance uh, the turn marker. Well, I repeat, uh, 20 pages, uh, but uh, well, I think you find a lot of images that can help you in, the, uh, in a better comprehension of the system. Let's uh, have a look at the counter, at the counter sheets. First of all, well, Dark Sands, the first counter sheet is about the comma units. In a yellow, you find the German units. In gray, the, uh, let me see. Ah, sorry, guys. In yellow, the Italian units, in gray, the German units, and in a sort of uh, brown, not so dark, uh, a light brown, the uh, British units. So you find also uh, two units belonging to the, uh, to the, French, to the French army. 
The second countersheet, well, you find a series of useful markers to determine the controls, to determine the logistics. Well, actually, no idea about the meaning of this marker, but uh, uh, two, one, well, probably these uh, are modifiers. And well, I have to determine that I have to read carefully the rules um, if I want to be precise about the use of these counters. Disrupted attack when you uh, a big marker to determine or to point out better the attacks. And as usual, a very useful playbook. Well, uh, this time you find a typical uh, portrait made by Roger, uh, dedicated to the uh, to the fox uh, Erwin Rommel. And if you notice, well, a lot of very very uh, very very good pictures. And uh, the scenarios are well described. You find a setup for each uh, scenario. Let's browse this playbook. Uh, scenario Gazala. So you have Gazala Crusader, Gazala Crusader, and the Sunflower. Uh, so actually, you should have, and obviously, the final scenario is the uh, campaign is the campaign scenario. So a very, very useful extended example of play. And I always suggest to uh, proceed immediately with the setup and please try to learn the game, learn the game by using this extended example of play. Well, so other very, very important 20 pages that you can find inside the box. Well, and as usual, you find uh, very, very uh, useful uh, charts and tables that uh, you can uh, use to understand better the mechanics. Well, a not so difficult uh, combat results table. Please remember that you have an assault and mobile. Obviously, it depends on the terrain and you have to apply the modifiers coming from the uh, asset markers. Um, a disruption table, a rail advanced table, I think that uh, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this table is to be used when uh, you want to exploit the rail line. Well, I have to check also this rule. So one, two, so two tables uh, each, uh, one for each player and then you have action chat availability so obviously you have a well defined chat for each turn please notice well o'connor to m slash c so each turn well you can this table helps you to determine better the available cheats. And then you have a description, a very, very well done description for each action cheat. Obviously, the, uh, the last component is the map. I'm going to show you, uh, you have two, two, uh, two maps. Well, as usual, it's difficult to uh, uh, to portray uh, the, uh, this uh, campaign uh, by using a single map. Uh, as usual, uh, I always prefer a mounted map board, but uh, I think that uh, this uh, could be a little pricey. And uh, well, as usual, good pastel colors. You find also, if you notice, well, the, uh, the units, the reinforcement units, that are uh, directly uh, printed on the map. Uh, good job. And you have also a very, very useful comma results table printed on. And you have also the explanation about uh, the, uh, the combats. So guys, what I can say, uh, I'm playing this uh, uh, quickly. Uh, why? Because it seems to me a very, very good game that you uh, can use to spend a pleasant uh, Christmas night. So hope to, to have helped you about uh, 
the description of this uh, new game by Ted Racer and hope to see you soon. Bye.